Welcome to PA History To Go, a series of videos presented by the Pennsylvania Historical Museum Commission with funding from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. These short videos, filmed at locations along the Pennsylvania Trails of History, serve to introduce virtual visitors to our sites as we explore the varied stories that make up Pennsylvania's rich history. Watch them all to learn about the people, places, industries, and events that make Pennsylvania so special. Erie Maritime Museum is a museum dedicated to telling the story of really Erie, Pennsylvania's relationship with the Great Lakes and beyond. It tells the story of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania's connection to the Great Lakes as well. The people of Erie have a long-standing heritage and relationship with the Great Lakes. We've been shipbuilders here since really the first true European settlements um, here in the in the region, it's dating back to the 1790s. So shipbuilding is a, is a constant and the Maritime Museum really signifies that maritime presence. And there's no better place for that considering we're in Presque Isle Bay. The building is in a refurbished or renovated Penelac power plant. So this was the home for power generation, coal-fired steam turbines up until the 1980s. And uh, we are housed within this old Penelac plant, which includes smokestacks outside and a really remarkable large uh, steam-driven electric turbine. The U.S. Brig Niagara, the one that we have uh, here at the museum, is a reconstructed version of the relief flagship of Oliver Hazard Perry during the Battle of Lake Erie. The original brig was constructed here in the spring, summer of 1813. It was launched really to fight a single battle um, during the War of 1812, and it did just that. Uh, September 10th, 1813, the brig was part of a, an American squadron of nine ships that met the, the enemy, uh, six British warships on the other end of Lake Erie. And through the course of the day, the brig was back off of the main battle line, and you know, a couple hours into the battle, she was brought forward. Oliver Perry, the Commodore of the, the American Squadron, transferred his flag, the blue don't give up the ship flag, to the U.S. Brig Niagara. And within about 15 minutes, surrender was given. The Americans had won the day, and Perry really became a, an American hero overnight. Uh, this was the true first victory in the War of 1812, and, and the brig signifies that. Today, while a little bit different, this is the fourth iteration of the Brig Niagara. It's a sailing school vessel, but it carries on that tradition as well. Um, we fly the Don't Give Up the Ship flag that remains so constant in naval heritage today. We fly a 15-star, 15 15-stripe 15 American flag from, from what would have been flying during the War of 1812, and the Commonwealth's flag. It is the Commonwealth's flagship. That being our, our largest exhibit, our floating exhibit out back, is, is a really cool thing to have. Another popular uh, display that we have here is, is a recreated gun deck um, that has actually uh, been shot at with period artillery so that one can see the damage both on the outside of the hull and on the back side of the hull, the sort of injuries and damage that those shells can do to both the, uh, the material of the ship itself as well as the sailors behind it. I'm happy for the museum to represent this community and uh, their history along the waterfront here. I think it's both a, an honor and a real treat um, for us to be able to have this opportunity to serve people like this.